Welcome to Explorer. I'm Phil Cogan. The United States has more tornadoes than any other country on Earth. About 1,200 touch down every year, taking the lives of about 50 people and causing billions of dollars in damage. Our defense in combating these deadly, unpredictable marvels of nature is to sharpen our understanding of how they form to increase warning times. Correspondent Guillory Durabi traveled to Tornado Alley to discover the latest innovations in weather science. Can you see the distant cloud going horizontally? Yeah. Off to the right, you'll see some very creamy white lumps on top of it. Yeah. That's a sign of an intense thunderstorm. Wow. I'm driving with one of the world's foremost storm chasers. He and his team are trying to catch a tornado just before it forms. Coming. The storm is drifting south. Copy that. But there's no way to know yet if this storm will spawn a tornado. That's what these guys are trying to solve. We still don't fully understand just how tornadoes form. Radar studies tell us all sorts of things about the tornado above the surface, but the radar can't actually scan where it counts, which is at the surface. Well. Visual observations are still one way to do that. And that's what makes this job so dangerous. A developing tornado west of El Reno. This could be a very dangerous situation if you are because you... The El Reno storm in 2013. It's the first storm to actually kill storm chasers. One of those storm chasers was Tim Samaras, who you work with very closely. Yeah. Tim was a good friend. We covered approximately 50,000 miles of the American heartland here together. He was pioneering a whole new set of technologies within the scientific community. He was very much celebrated and became very famous. I've been doing this for 20 years. I enjoy the hell out of it. I really do. Out here watching the, the great clouds, the great storms, you never know exactly what you're going to find. Tim handcrafted his own measuring equipment so he could deploy sensors on the ground immediately in front of the tornadoes. Tim tracked hundreds of tornadoes in his career, and his partners in crime were meteorologist Carl Young and his own 24-year-old son, Paul. Tornado on the ground, large tornado on the ground. The days of El Reno, we were on the same road, maybe three miles away. I was extremely conscious of driving into this no man's land where you shouldn't be going. The margins of safety were <laughs> getting extremely small. We were able to drive ourselves out, but following day, vehicle that was found might have been Tim and his team. We were very, very shook up. It was a very, very serious and sober moment, I think, for many of us. If one of the most meticulous and safety-conscious storm chasers in the game was caught off guard by a tornado, imagine the threat that these violent wind towers pose to the general public. In addition to leveling houses and buildings, between 2000 and 2017, tornadoes killed an average of 78 people per year in the US, in part because of last minute unreliable warnings. It all happens here in Tornado Alley, a region in the heart of the country where the convergence of warm, dry air and warm, moist air makes the perfect rotating thunderstorms called supercells. And scientists know that the rotation of winds in these supercell storms source most, if not all, tornadoes. But big questions remain. Why do some supercell storms fail to produce tornadoes? And what are the exact elements that trigger a twister's formation? Yeah, let's take this road, it's good. To create a more reliable early warning system that can save lives, Anton has joined forces with his fellow storm chasers on the ground. Oh, beautiful. Okay, 23, 33, 21. After following a tornado of potential research interest, they reach out to the broader storm chase community to crowdsource footage. Okay, it's on the ground. <gasps> beautiful. Okay, Exquisite down. tornado. Tornado. Exquisite tornado. Oh, this is incredible. When they bring it all together, they get a comprehensive view of the tornado emerging. You can watch the evolution as these funnels start forming and swirling. And doing... Just like they did with the data from the El Reno tornado, the one that killed his former partner, 
Tim. Storm chasers following El Reno were all willing to share their resources. They wanted to help us answer questions, understand what happened that day. If we have play here, we should see all these storm chaser videos play synchronously here. This is how the tornado formed from multiple angles.